Halo Infinite just got a massive boost to its potential player base. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up the Halo Infinite, you tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date. Let's jump right into it. So yes, you heard me right. Halo Infinite just got a massive boost in potential players to play the game. Recently, Xbox has been under a little bit of heat because they originally were going to actually up the price of Xbox Live to a rather absurd degree, really, for an initial jump in price. You know, initially starting off saying that like, oh, it's been around 18 years, everything's been so great, so great we can make, you know, a pro service that people enjoy so much. They're like, well, periodically we do have to upgrade our pricing and saying the price of Xbox Live Gold has not changed for years and in some markets, it hasn't changed in over 10 years. Yada, 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 various pricing changes. But essentially what they said here is that going forward, new pricing will be one month for $11, three months for $30, six months for $60 for your local market equivalent. At least from my experience, most people buy a year long subscription when it comes to Xbox Live, which would normally cost you $60 for an entire year's worth of service. Now, they don't even mention the 12 months on this one. They only go up to six months for $60, meaning you're prepared to buy two six month packs equaling $120 for an entire year's worth of service. Now, obviously when you think about it, that's like 10 bucks a month. That's actually kind of standard for a lot, actually a lot of other games out there like, wow, you know, charges about the same kind of service fee as well. But the thing is, is that that's a 100% price increase overnight. That is not the way you're going to up your price and you do it gradually. You know, you've ever heard about the analogy of, you know, boiling a frog where if you, you know, drop a frog into boiling water, he's going to hop right out. But if you drop a frog into just normal temperature water and then you turn up the heat a little bit, the frog doesn't jump out. And that's kind of how pricing goes when it comes to gaming or just pricing just in life in general. You never just double your price overnight. So bad move by Microsoft. And you might have noticed that when I read that it was X'd out and that is because Microsoft actually went back on their pricing claims. Later that day, they go, okay, we messed up today. You know, obviously what we did was kind of not the right way to go about doing it. So we have decided not to not change Xbox Live pricing. But on top of that, we actually got a big, huge benefit, especially when it comes to Halo, saying that they're actually taking this opportunity to make sure that free to play games, you will no longer need Xbox Live Gold membership to play those Xbox games. This is what I was talking about, about the massive jump in potential players coming over to play Halo Infinite because not every Xbox owner has Xbox Live. It might seem like that because every time for most people I'd say who check out YouTube videos and are dedicated players, especially for more multiplayer focused games that yeah, like, yeah, you've got to have Xbox Gold. I mean, I, everyone I know has Xbox Gold, but not, not everyone does though. Honestly, what Microsoft needs to do is just completely remove Xbox Live Gold and just have Game Pass as your service. You're paying 15 bucks a month for Game Pass Ultimate, so why not just throw in your ability to jump in and play Xbox Live games as well? To me, it just makes sense to kind of have it all in one, consolidate your service, make it easier for the consumer, and just something easier to follow along with and so removing that barrier of having to pay for xbox live gold to join in with some free to play games is going to be absolutely massive halo infinite's multiplayer is going to be free to play that just opens up the door for so many more people getting a chance to jump in and enjoy halo's multiplayer and if you're curious how many people that actually equates to well we can only really track the xbox live number of people because obviously if you don't have xbox live you're not probably linked to it online make it hard to track but just to get an idea of how many people this gives this game has potential to reach check right here vg247 put out an article saying that xbox live has 90 million monthly users obviously not all of these people are going to be wanting to play halo but just 90 million loan on xbox live kind of shows you the potential reach that halo infinite has for having people jump in and play the game 
I mean, I would have to think that when Halo Infinite finally relaunches, that, you know, that it probably would have the most amount of people ever playing a Halo game, because I don't think we've ever peaked beyond what the what 1 million concurrent players back in Halo 3 back in the day. Uh, but now that gaming has become so much more popular, especially with the pandemic, a lot more people are gaming nowadays as well. This is going to be one of the biggest launches ever of a Halo game. So this is why 343 is taking that extra time, delaying the game, spend the time in that's necessary to make sure that when this game launches, it's going to be exactly what it needs to be because first impressions really are everything. And yes, there have been games that have been able to kind of crawl back and gain a solid following, you know, like BS Go certainly was one of those, Rainbow Six Siege, and even a little bit of MCC, but you know, this game really needs to land its mark when it comes to the launch of Halo Infinite. Xbox reverted their pricing saying that for one month it'd be $9.99, $24.99 for three months, $39.99 for six months, and $59.99 for 12 months. Xbox Twitter even had to come out and say, today was not a great day. We always try to do our best for you and today we missed the mark. Yes, certainly did. We hear you and we reversed our pricing for Xbox Live Gold updates. Phil Spencer even replied to somebody about this. Uh, Paris, who's a known content creator here on the internet, talked about how this was not a good idea but actually now came out and said like, hey, this was a good good thing, you know, especially removing the requirement for Xbox Live Gold to play free games on there. Phil Spencer replied to that saying, apologies for all the angst and emotion this caused today for our customers. As always, we appreciate the feedback. This is a good learning opportunity for us and we will learn from it. Especially with such great momentum the Xbox brand has ever since, well, Phil Spencer's taking over, but especially in the last couple years with like Game Pass, you know, promoting cross-play, you know, cross-platform kind of play as well, and just generally being very more consumer friendly. They've been building up their reputation back to really be a force to be reckoned with. And this was like the first misstep I've seen Xbox do in a very long time. And I'm glad that they were able to be so agile and quick to revert their pricing just from the doubling of Xbox Live pricing to, you know, just you know, bring it back to normal. And they're probably gonna bring the price back up maybe like next year. But again, if you're gonna raise the price to it, like an extra 10 bucks or something like that. You don't double your price overnight and not expect any kind of backlash. And that's really just for any product in general, much less just Xbox Live. Not only will it be cheaper to play Halo, it's actually gonna be even more effective for more people to get a chance to play Halo now. So that's awesome. I'm really glad to hear it. So if you guys wanna stay up to date with more news and information involving Halo, make sure you tap subscribe and check out the videos on the screen over here. I link to all my news and informational videos if you're being out of loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.